My name is India Garms and I teach English 1. I've been at Sam for three years now. When I'm stressed with work, I unwind by going home and playing video games. I play on, I play World of Warcraft on my PC and I play um, Fallout and Mass Effect and Dead Space and Bioshock uh, on my on PlayStation. I evaluate and assess students uh, both formally and informally. Um, I do this thing called fist to five where I ask how, how well do you understand something and if they really, really get it, they give me a five. If they don't get it at all, send a life raft. Uh, they, they give me a fist, which means zero, and they can do two or three or four in between. Uh, but that's just a quick check. And of course there's um, assessments and tests and scantrons and stuff like that. But I try to not do all my assessment that way. Um, I also just walk around and see where everybody's at. And I ask them questions. And if they can verbalize to me their understanding, uh, that, that kind of clues me in that they've got it. My favorite quote is something that my dad told me over and over and over growing up. It's, frustration is a sign of commitment. Whenever I have students that are like, Miss, I don't get this, I can't do it, um, or this is dumb, you know, I don't see the point, um, I point out to them that, look at, look at how you're feeling right now. If you, if you didn't feel this way, if you didn't feel frustrated, um, it would mean that you didn't care. And so because you have these feelings, it means that you care about what you're doing. And so you might as well go ahead and give it your best effort. Uh, my favorite book at the moment is tied between the one that I'm reading right now, which is Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris, um, which is about Hannibal Lecter, um, and The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, um, which was just fantastic. I've got, I've got a pin that goes with it on my lanyard. Um, it is so inspirational for me, but is also a cautionary tale. Uh, there's so much to pull out of that book. It's absolutely one of my favorites. So um, what inspires me is my daughter. Her name is Athena, and I, I had her young. I'm a single parent, and so I have, I have a lot writing on me having a job and me doing well at my job, and I, I have her looking up to me to see how, how adults and how women are supposed to act, and so I, I really try to be um, that, that model for her. Um, and it started out just as her, but as I've been teaching, I've been kind of collecting students that I find myself doing the same thing for. Um, and so really, it's, it's just whoever needs somebody to look up to. I'd, I'd, I'd like to be that person. I love working at Sam Houston, and I am so proud to be here. Um, I'm so glad that Sam Houston was the first school and the only school that I've taught at so far. Um, yeah, go Texans. Thank you.